why hello everybody it's crafty mom here to share with you a craft haul got all of the stuff that i'm going to show you from dollar tree and dollar general for just one whopping dollar the first thing up is four by six index cards and you're saying huh okay but you can make atc mdc pocket letter cards of course recipe cards you can coffee dye these for ephemera and more then I found this growing crystals kit. Looked like it made something that looked like a citrine. And I love real gems, but of course they're pretty expensive. So I thought I would get this. And let me show you what comes in the box. I'll pull it out. And we'll see what's in here. You get, well, first you get this cute little plastic tray. And then you also get a packet of something called Golden Citrine Crystal Going Growing Chemical with a warning on it of course and then you get a rock that supposedly you can turn into a citrine looking gem and also in the box they do give you a stir stick popsicle stick and of course there's some directions and i would have done this for you but after reading the directions it takes five to seven days to grow the crystal so maybe in another video i'll show you what it came out as i also found these really cute tassels on paper clips and you got all kinds of colors here pink and purple and green and a peach color and you get eight for a dollar and i thought they were pretty neat for planners or journals i also picked up a pack of these crafters closet a2 cards and envelopes you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes you can make your own homemade cards with these you can use them in junk journals make envelope journals then i found this this beacon valley adhesive spray so we're going to i've never seen this in my dollar tree we're going to test this out it says works on paper wood cardboard and more and since it's not a, an aerosol spray i thought it might be good to use inside so i made myself a little aluminum tray three different size circles and i'm going to try it out spray a little on a little part of each circle and try to put them together testing it out let's test it out to see if it works on what it says it works on so i've put in this the two circles together and the third circle and as you see it dropped right off it's supposed to dry quick and stick quick and well <laughs> not exactly working as i hoped as you can see i keep holding it together pressing it together trying to get it to stay so finally it did but it did leave a little mark which i'm hoping will dry clear maybe because this is like a milky as you can see it's like a milky consistency so i tried these little toothpicks and other than the tackiness holding the two together did not work on toothpicks i also tried popsicle sticks these are coated in this adhesive spray and they would not stick together so it doesn't work on wood Here's some cereal box packaging. It worked okay on that. And then I tried it on this, of course, as you saw. And the stain did not go away. It's still there. It did not dry clear. Then it seems to work really good on toilet paper roll cardboard. Worked great on that. However, I don't like it. I'll probably not buy it again. And I'll show you why. It is not approved by Crafty Mama for all these reasons. But, hey, if you want to try it yourself for a book, go on. But I also saw these bright and bold assorted cards with little graphics on them. They're 4x6 lined cards on the front, blank on the back. What's really cute, I thought, is they come in four different styles. You get the flower one I showed you, some cupcakes, little birdies and flowers, and a teapot and a cup. And you can use those for many things also, ephemera, journals, and more. Next up, I got this Nickelodeon brand Shimmer and Shine Magic Paint Posters little kit. You get 12 sheets to paint the paintbrush, and on each sheet is the little paint watercolor paint squares. I thought these could be really cute for maybe journals again, uh, maybe the front of a card, ephemera. I want to in an upcoming video, I'm going to try painting them and see how they come out. It's supposed to be glittery paint. I also picked up this crafter's closet permanent tape runner it's a quarter inch wide bonds instantly photo safe 21.6 feet long and this works really great up oh, next i got some crafter's closet acrylic paint and gold metallic look how shiny that is i'm going to use it on some projects 
I also found these 3D illusion tattoos, realistic optical illusion tattoos. Love the graphics on them. It says it contains 55 3D illusion tattoos, a sponge, and easy instructions. Now I will open up the package and show you the tattoos because they're even more vibrant and nicer than on the back of the package. I actually got these thinking maybe I could use them for cardstock like transfers, but I wasn't sure. It says tattoos should last one to three days. You get the instructions. You get a little sponge. It's really easy to do. You cut them out, place them face down, sponge them up for about 10 seconds and peel off the backing and voila. So I've been showing you the different uh, pages of tattoos that come with it and they just, they're awesome. Look at these wonderful graphics. So, of course, yes, I did try one. Got my first actual tattoo. There you go there. Hope it comes off in three days or less. I also tried it on cardstock. I should have used white on that one. But look at this flower. That is just beautiful. It looks lifelike. I can use these for all kinds of scrapbooking journal projects. I put a little bird on this card. Oh, doesn't he look exquisite? And who can go to the Dollar Tree without getting some kind of snack? So... I've never tried this before. I picked up this bumblebee roasted garlic and herb tuna, 16 grams of protein, and I put this on a toasted onion bagel, and it was absolutely delicious. I want to go back and get some more. I think they had one or two other flavors I might want to try too, but this one, I can definitely recommend. This one, this is Crafty Mama approved for sure. I also decided to get some of this Tabib peppermint tea. I love all kinds of mint tea and flavoring, spearmint, peppermint, lemon mint, made ingredients, pure peppermint, pure enjoyment. Well, that's it for this haul. Do you have a favorite item from this haul? Would you like me to review some other item you've seen at the Dollar Tree and would like to know what it does, what it looks like, what's inside? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for stopping by and watching Crafty Mama. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye.